viewers welcome to another video of free engineering tutorial on operating system so in previous video we had discussed about different scheduling concepts now in this video we will discuss about synchronization so the first question arises is why do we need synchronization and what is synchronization so synchronization means synchronizing different type of process and different processes which are coming or requesting resources from the computer system and what are these resources these are shared resources and cpu resources you can say okay so why do we need synchronization so synchronization is done to synchronize the process and to increase our throughput and cpu utilization at a given instant of time so what are the main things cpu utilization okay and next thing is throughput okay so at every instant of time we should increase our throughput means the number of process running in cpu okay so these are three things throughput okay so now what are the problems we are getting in our modern operating system so we have to in, uh, implement synchronization so this arises with the uh, we will discuss this with the help of producer consumer problem so what is the producer consumer problem is that the producer is producing its good and is putting in one bucket okay you can say it it is putting its produced goods in one bucket and from that bucket consumer is consuming the goods okay so what is the thing we are getting the problem they bo uh, these both programs are using one bucket okay so this bucket needs to be shared so it should be shared in such a way that it can synchronize itself and no one is has to wait for other process okay so what i'm trying to say is that let's say we can see from this program like every time it is running and it will check whether the bucket is full or not okay so while counter is equals to buffer size so here counter and buffer are two shared variables okay you can see that these are two shared variables and these are running in both of the programs okay you can also see this buffer array is there here okay and this counter these two are shared variables okay so if they are shared variables they need to be taken care of in a special manner so what is that speciality is that we will discuss in synchronization so here the producer is checking whether the bucket is full or not if it is full it will do nothing it will not produce anything okay and but if it is not full it will produce one uh, good it will place it in bucket okay so this buffer is let let us say it will be bucket for us okay so now it will be placed in one bucket okay now it will increase the counter with one so now if one good is here so it will increase the counter to one okay now as you can see in consumer program it will do the reverse process if it will check if the bucket is empty it will do nothing okay so this is loop forever okay after that if it is not empty and is having some resources then it will consume it will fetch out the data or good from the bucket so now this consumer will take out the, the contents of bucket and then counter will decrease so then counter again will decrease and will set to zero so as you can see that this counter is setting by the uh, producer also and consumer also okay so what is the problem let us say after putting the contents in buffer means this content in bucket the context switch happens from here and it will come to consumer okay now it will check for counter is equals to zero so if it is not so counter is not equal to zero then it will decrease the counter okay but the counter was not increased here so as you can see that counter should be one but it will again update by the consumer process and it will be decreased to zero okay now the uh, question arises is that what is the problem so if there are contents and the consumer then also can't access okay so here the contents was not updated in counter so counter will be if initial is zero and it is not updated then array will be one 
means it will contain the resources but counter is zero okay and it this zero will be checked here in this condition okay and this condition will be met and consumer will do nothing irrespective of whether it contains the resources or not so you are getting i think so okay so this is the problem with shared variables so we have to provide or implement synchronization to these two processes so next thing arises is critical section problem which we will discuss in next video till then thank you